Hello again and welcome back to another one. And the last few hours have been quite crazy on the internet and Kanye West tweets are right up there. That has prompted reactions from some artists. And as we dive into the topics today, if you're here for the first time or if you're a regular viewer yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button to the notifications and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web for more. So we'll start with Big Sean's latest comments about Eminem's verse on Friday Night Cypher. And previously, I talked about how Big Sean revealed that Eminem was the last artist to be added to the track and M heard the whole thing, which made fans realize that it was premeditated bodying due to M's beat selection. And now he's had more to say from an interview with Genius. And Sean talked about how it was quite the challenge to have many rappers fit on a single record, even his verse had to be cut down, but Eminem got that GOAT treatment. Obviously, the only verse I ain't cut was M's verse. Because, you know, you just can't touch his vocals, you know, whatever he do is just is what it is. And that's, you know, that's that he on that level. And one reaction to this is I love the love and respect he's got for Eminem and how he shows it every time. And the other Detroit rappers that talk disrespectfully about Eminem before now have shown to thank for getting their names on the same record with Eminem. That's a huge marketing boost on its own. By the way, the noun Porter has shot down reports that claimed that he said Eminem will be on his next project when he actually only said he could feature M when asked about an Eminem collab. And in an exchange with a fan on Instagram, he stated, I just wish every time I talk, people don't misconstrue what I said. I just saw a post that said I confirmed the song with M, which I didn't. It's frustrating. Eminem, as we all know, has dissed the Grammys, Jay-Z has done the same, and now Kanye West has made the boldest statement so far. I cannot share the video for obvious reasons, but one of the most popular reactions so far that have gone viral is this picture of Drake drinking from an award. Another viral reaction states, Well, I'm happy you finally pissed on something that you actually didn't deserve, sorry not sorry. But that was only a piece of the drama set up from Kanye's latest tweets as he proceeded to drop screenshots of his record deal on Twitter. And on deals he states, 90% of the record contracts on the planet are still on a royalty. A standard record deal is a trap to never have you recoup. And there's all these hidden costs like the distribution fees many labels put in their contracts to make even more money off our work without even trying. And among many others, Kanye added, We've gotten comfortable with not having what we deserve. They allow us to have a little money from touring, get some gold chains, some drinks, some girls, and fake numbers that feed our egos, but we don't own our masters. And here's how most have reacted to Kanye's rant about his contract. I guess you signed contracts at the time, you see a record deal you don't think of the long-term implications as an artist. It is wrong, but I guess you need to know your worth at the start and not allow them to have control over your legacy and some people gave him some hands. The second richest African-American who walks on water and asked the poor to feel sorry for him when he literally signed the contract himself. You knew what you were getting into and no, God didn't ask you to do this. And another ad, imagine what the working class have to say about this issue. Artists have also reacted to his rant, Tanache states, independent artists say hi, but I must say, masters don't mean much if the music flops or ages badly, and on that note, Marshmallow states, Kanye is giving free game right now, he's not crazy, he's telling the truth, and now you know why I've always remained independent as an artist and have never signed to a label. But to be fair, in today's age it's easier to remain independent and Marshmallow only became active in 2015. What it took to make it big in the late 90s is a far cry from what it took post-2015 thanks to digital downloads and streaming. Westside Gone also reacted, just got off the phone with Kanye, they're really stopping his tweets SMH, this has to stop. Only God can give you that kind of strength to speak and they don't like it. Save your thoughts on this drama for the comment section and we head to the next point. Remy Ma was recently on the Fat Joe show and talked about how Big Pond once told her about how he wanted to get on a song with Eminem. When I spoke told you. out of his lips, he told me, yes, he cannot wait for the song to come oh when it's him and him. That's what he was waiting for. News about this collab that never happened was brought to Crook on Twitter and Crook reacted stating, rappers would have been bodied in the crossfire. And while you ponder on what could have been, here's one from one of the bodies buried in Eminem's yard recently. I notice most stands don't have too many followers on social media. The reason that is, is simply they have no friends in real life. 
Nobody wants to follow a grown person whose obsession with a 48-year-old goofball is too extra and embarrassing. Nobody in has fans like these. Take it all in and share your thoughts on these topics below. Like and subscribe if you haven't and see you on the next one.